Welcome everyone, Randy's Den, fired up on a Friday, how about that, what's going on, hope everyone's having a good old time here, you got some, gotta get back to this madness, I need to check this out, amp it out, and I got my second to biggest up in line load, that is so simple you guys, I can't believe I haven't seen another video about this, and I've seen lots and lots of videos. Anyways, we're going to turn this thing on. Isolation transformers plugged. Right there. Da, 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 right there. The light's coming on. Dee, 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 dee. There's the light. Beep, 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 beep. Back down. I got to make sure you guys can see everything with no glare and crap. Crappy glare. Glare's pissing me off. Glare is not good. I don't care for glare. Glare, you suck. That's a little better. And we're gonna bring we're gonna turn this thing up. How about that? How about that? Now, all right, I got this hooked up to a load, but we don't want to see what kind of amperage put out. Remember the one video before that I was fooling around and sparks were flying, emotions went real high. Uh, the amp meter I was using, the cheap old uh, Harbor Freight, whatever, Centec, that thing was busting out over 10 amps. But that was intermittent, and then it was, uh, the, <laughs> the wires were red hot. So, this is uh, a non-intrusive way, I would say. Just got the clamp meter on, we're going to kick it to zero. One more time, and now we're at zero. I don't know why this thing's not at zero. It feels the fuzziness, I guess. It's at a hundred, uh, hundredth of a volt. Or a hundred millivolts, sorry. So... SCR is triggering, so we're kicking out 8 volts, which 8 to 10, sometimes 8, sometimes it's 10, and now let's get this going. Now mind you, this, oh it's not hooked up to a load, let's turn it back off, sorry for the drama, I hate it doing that, sorry about that, um, right there. Now we should be hooked up to the load. Actually, the load is turned on. I won't dick around with it. It's just a, a toaster oven. Just a simple toaster oven. There's some really neat things I gotta show you about that, too. The isolation transformer is really, really not liking this. Oh, I'm scared. I didn't get to see it. it. I know it was up there. I might need to get some air on the isolation transformer. Let's bank. There. 89, 90, 7.2. And mind you, this is DC. This is nothing to mess with here. This DC is the nasty one because DC doesn't cross... The zero line, it goes straight across at 90 volts. Uh, AC at least crosses across the zero volt line. So in between the intermittents, mind you, it's, we're talking nanoseconds, you can break away from it where DC locks you right on for the whole time until someone cuts it. So please be careful. I wouldn't recommend anyone do this at home. I know you will anyway. Just please be careful and know what you're doing. And probably know a lot more than I do, too. <laughs> that might help. Um, like I said, just a simple toaster oven. Once I can unplug everything, I'll bring it up and show it to you quick. It's just down here, and it's pain in the roughest. It's right there. See? I got written on it. And right now, I have it pulling just 23 ohms. If I flip it all the way to max, I think it's broil. Yeah, if I hit it to broil, it'll bounce to 12 ohms. So, we don't even need to do that, though. Well, well obviously, we have to. we got to max out the amperage, right? you got to see what it's doing. Let me check my ISO. I mean, this thing was whining like a little sissy. I don't know why it was whining. I've never had it whine like that before. Uh, these are the wires I worry about most. They're not the most stout, but it is 120 volts coming through them. Uh, it's got to be a little bit of a drop in amperage, but it shouldn't be anywhere near 8 amps coming through. 
But, I mean, this is sick. We're talking uh, like 700-something watts here. That's craziness. I got... Uh, it blows my mind. Let's get back at it. Come on. Let's giddy up again. Let me make sure everything's looking good here. I hope you're ex half as excited as I am. Zero. Zero. Hope you can see that. Good. That's the one that counts the most. Please show up. Please show up. Okay, now I'm going to move it to 12 ohms. Now, by doing this, this is going to bounce it up another tier in the uh, in the amps. Now, so it should hit 8 amps a lot quicker. But I believe this circuit, uh, it is run by uh, uh, LM324s, which are, I believe, quad op amps. Um that's all that I see here, and it looks like some type of like opto coupler, if I'm guessing a six-legged opto coupler. I mean, no big capacitors or like anything like that. Just a big uh, resistor on the output. Oh yeah, and that's hot. It's a little bit warm. Oh yeah, it's a little bit toasty. Let's see what we got for. Obviously, it won't help now because I already maxed it out. 119 Fahrenheit. Don't be a Fahrenheit. Okay, let's turn it back on. Let's see what happens here. Okay, we just nicked on. Okay, I want to make sure that I'm at... It really doesn't seem to matter what setting I put it at. Oh, okay, there it does. You get more amps at the 12 ohm. Which is the way it should work. So, let me kick it down. Now it's kicked down. Now I'm just going up a little bit. I want to get up around an amp. And then I'll flip it to see if it bounces us. Now I'll flip it. Now I just flipped it. And mind you now, the oven is cooking. It's burning off all that wattage, the heat. Um, nothing serious though. The light on the front of the oven is on. To let you know that it's on. It's basically... There is no rectifiers or anything. It's just burning off the DC, the wattage. I mean, you can see the amps are climbing, if I'm guessing, a lot faster. Right here is about halfway. We're almost hitting 90 already. Oh, 93 point, oh, 93.8, 7.4 amps. So something's limiting down the amps. Um, I imagine this guy is not happy. 140. Ah, it can live with that. For intermittentness. Let me kick this back down to where it was. And we'll go one more time up quick. Up quick and off. This is just... You can see it shift range there. The decimal bounces over one. 93.4, 93.5, 7 7.10 amps. Whew! That's crazy. Okay, I want to shut it down, kill everything. Again, do not mess with this. Please be careful, everyone. It would freaking ruin my life if someone got seriously hurt doing this at their own home. Uh, I want to take and I want to short out these plugs just to make sure... That sucker's hot, but it's not scalding. Just shorten them. Now I'm wondering if these two power supplies that I did a couple of few videos ago, just dumb treadmill supplies, that I never realized. I Looking at the paperwork, these should be putting out the one 95 volts. So maybe both of them. I didn't even know it's sitting under my nose now. These got big capacitors, big old tank capacitors, and uh, them will run a little bit different, obviously. Then this setup, I mean, this is just such a simple setup. It, it It's very, very crazy. Again, if you haven't seen the video, I highly recommend it. Everyone's, nobody's talking about it. Let me tell you that. Uh, I'll be straight honest with you. But if, if you like this, it might be a little exciting. I mess up a little bit and short something out, sparks fly. Um, I'll link it. Uh, and at the end of this video, I'll have a link. Um, now I get everything situated here. I want to get this board up right close so you guys can take a good look at it too. And 
I want to see how warm the board is. Board's not warm at all. So once I free up the computer, I'll look up these. There is two FETs or transistors over here and then three over here. Now, oh, you know what? I forgot to check the ripple. I, my gosh. But anyways, here it is. That beauty. You can see the two big. These are, I believe, quad op amps, 324s. This would be the optocoupler. Again, the four LEDs. Not much heat going on. And the potentiometer, this actually come right out of... This is exactly what it came off of. A West Low. If you see up in the corner here, West Low. This was right here. I just cut it right out. The knob was too big, so I put a little bit different one on. That was it. Just a simple half moon knob. You got it. That's all it is. It blows my mind that someone else doesn't have a video out about anything like this. It, it really does. I mean, you're talking 700 something over 700. We're talking some big, big amps, amps here. Yeah. Let's do it. What were we hitting? We are hitting 93.8, 93.8 times. We'll say we maxed out the first time. I was, uh, I don't think we were quite eight. I'll go 7.8 amps, 7.8. And that's power, power, PIV. Power equals current times voltage. 731.6 watts. That's a lot of watts. That's a lot. That's that's serious. I uh, want to get the oven up here and just show you guys how simple the oven is. And let's just see how hot it is too. And I could pick it up. I can pick it up right in the hot spots. And there is something that I definitely got to bring up to you guys. Just a nasty oven that I grabbed. I was actually going to trash it. And usually they have these elements inside. You can see it there. The, the white bulb element heater element usually there's four so if you got four of them and there's 12 ohms you can drop one out of the circuit and get down to nine ohms that's just about eight ohm you're close enough to in my eyes i'm close enough to eight ohms if i knock one of them out of the circuit that i got nine we'll say eight ohms and hook a radio to it and you got it running on a load. It's nice and safe. It's got its own enclosure. You ain't got to worry about burning something out. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Just dumb luck found that. Just like kind of found this out. Always dumb luck for me. Um, but we'll see. Uh, I apologize to you guys. I was I got the new phone and uh, yeah, whatever. And messing around with my old one and, and deleting old videos because I was still couldn't figure out how to upload them. I uh, was deleting the videos off of it, or the memory gets full and it just cuts off the video right in the middle of it, and it really makes me mentally frustrated. So I was deleting them, and then all of a sudden I looked, and I was deleting them right off my YouTube page, I guess. I had no idea that it was actually linked like that. That's not their fault for me being a dummy. But anyways, uh, I did use YouTube and looked up my Apple phone that it got given to me, and yes... I figured out how to download videos off of that, and it think it, I, I freaking love YouTube. I can't get over it. I just can't get over. It. I love talking about. It. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself and were a little bit entertained. Had a great day. Again, I'll show you the circuit. This is all that we're dealing with. This board is this right here. This board, that board in the yeller, is right there. That's 93.8 volts at some big amps at least over seven amps so there's some sick stuff going on and i actually the one i had before this the motor was a i believe a two horsepower so this was only a one and a half i believe i'd have to look and this is just a circuit of it again it's a westlow treadmill so if you ever see one like that but it seems that all the treadmills i'll have to stop this and as it gets too long and uh, check out these other power supplies. So if you like seeing that and maybe seeing me do dumb things, sparks fly, check out the other videos. Uh, share, subscribe, comment. Uh, just have yourself a heck of a weekend. Thanks, guys.